assalamu alaikum dear my dear students how are you i think you all are well by the grace of almighty allah i am also well this is asam shakil ahmed lecturer english begum rahim islam college my dear students you know you know bangladesh is passing a hard times not only bangladesh but also all the world the whole world is passing hard times a time of of a pandemic epidemic that is covid 19 you know because of covid 19 regular classes are not held in the school college or universities you know for this reason bangladesh government has taken an effective steps bangladesh government has has ordered has declared to take online classes to continue regular studies you know you know dear students my this class is for the student of english honors first year for the students of honors first year english and our today's subject is you know introduction to poetry or to be subject introduction to poetry subject code is 211105 or today's topic is i wandered lonely as a cloud a remarkable poet sorry a, a remarkable poem of william morsworth you know william morsworth he is called the poet of nature and he is one of the uh, one of the most prominent and most remarkable romantic poet students you know our today's topic is i our today's topic is a poem written by william morsworth the name of the poem is i wandered lonely as a cloud you know there is another name is deference so we will discussing the whole poem i would like to uh discuss about the poet william morsworth the free war you know william morsworth william morsworth was born in england in 1770 he grew up among woods trees lake river etc that's why he has great passion for nature and that's why he is called the poet of nature actually he is rightly called the poet of nature you know he was william wordsworth was tremendous tremendously profoundly influenced by the french revolution and you know one of the uh, one of the greatest poets one of the greatest poets of uh, of uh, A romantic period was that was S. T. Collins, that means Samuel Taylor Collins. You know, he is also a romantic poet and friend of William Wordsworth. A friend of William Wordsworth and these two friends, William Wordsworth and S. T. Collins, both created a revolution in English literature. That is lyrical ballads, you know, which was published 1798 and by publishing. this lyrical ballads william wordsworth became prominent in the world basically in the world of literature in the world of poetry dear students in the lyrical ballads which was published in 1798 you know that is 1798 1798 lyrical ballads was published in 1791 98 and in the lyrical ballads there were there are 23 poems and among 23 poems wordsworth himself 
Warsaw Tinsel wrote 19 poems. So, actually, he 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 was also uh, England uh, laureate poet actually in Mustafa 1843. You know, I would like to uh, discuss the poem right now. I think you have you have a brief you have a brief discussion. You have a brief introduction of William Wordsworth. Now I would like to go the whole poem to discuss. Okay, students, uh, let's uh, discuss about the poem and before discussing the poem, uh, in brief, I, you, uh, I let you know uh, uh, about the whole poem. In the poem, the poet, once, once the poet William Morsworth was walking in this tree, there is no war and he was walking in this tree, you know, the poets are always like this. Uh, they are walking here and there, you know, and they are thinking, they are thinking and walking here and there. And when uh, he was walking alone, he saw some daffodils. So beautiful natural objects, a beautiful natural objects, a flower. And whenever he saw, he become, he becomes happy, and and his heart uh, dances like the daffodils, you know. And whenever uh, he come across the beautiful objects, daffodils, and, and where? Beside him, uh, you know, over hills and uh, beneath, uh, you know, uh, over, over bells and hills, and beside him, whenever he saw daffodils, he becomes happy, and his, his heart dances, uh, uh, his dances with the daffodils, and and actually he was in passive mood. He was in passive mood. And at that time, in in, in, in the passive mood, his heart becomes happy. See the natural objects, you know. That's that's why he's rightly called the poet of nature. Whenever he comes across natural objects, he becomes happy. And in this way he passes his times and whenever uh, whenever he lives uh, whenever he lives nature Whenever, he's, whenever he leaves uh, the bells and hills, and, and now he is in, in remote area, uh, made of concrete, and, and in the, he is now staying at home. And whenever, in at home, whenever he feels agony, he feels agony, he just reminds, he just remembers, he just remembers the uh, ecstatic, the happiness uh, events that he passed in the woods. That means that he passed with the daffodils. Okay? In this way, uh, all the poets, actually, all the romantic poets uh, has a uh, uh, powerful imagination, you know. Okay, let us start. Uh, you know, uh, I would like to just uh, discuss the uh, poem. And for a better understanding, uh, I have uh, divided the poem into three uh, into three uh, parts. In the first part, I have included six lines. Okay, just uh, I think uh, I I request you all to uh, for your better understanding, you should um, patiently uh, listen my lecture actually. Okay, dear students, let's come to the point. I here I wandered lonely as a cloud. That means I the poet himself, William Watson. Wandered lonely, just walk aimlessly as a cloud, like cloud. She made him take a key, good she, hot she, with the swing bubble that floats, that floats on, floats on high over bales and hills. That floats, buddy, the cloud floats, must say, on high, on a kuchute, kuthai, over bales and hills. Uputaka, a bumper button for a day, make a Uttishu in Babe, Uche, Tik, or Megan Mutu Kobinija, Nijeke, Mani, endlessly Uttishu in Babe, just money got this. Ekane to the mother Buddha to the Bolto Hajita, a Kobita Mutam to figure out his apologetic terms of Ekanita. I wandered long as a cloud. It is an example of simile. You know, do you know what is simile? Simile, 
is a figure of speech in which two different things are compared. Two different things are compared using such as like as. Here there is as. And this comparison must be explicitly using as like. So two different things, if two different things are compared using as, such, like, then it is called simile. Okay. Here, yeah, simile uh, number one. And second line, that floats on high over banks and hills. Okay. Come. When all at once, you know, when Jokun all at once, at what point? Hold up, understand. Hold up, suddenly, when all at once I saw a cloud. At that time, whenever he was just thinking himself, he was thinking himself like cloud, he I saw, the poet himself saw a cloud. Cloud is a very good A host. A host of golden daffodils. 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 A host of golden A Okay. And beside the lake, what is the name of the lake? Beside the lake. Pro their passion, or their passion, beneath the trees. What is the name of the lake? Full moon of the lake. Beside the lake and beneath the trees. What is the name of the lake? What is the name of the lake? What is the name of the lake? And dancing. What is the name In the breeze. Breeze of the lake. Yeah, Batash. Okay, just we are continuing. And this is the seventh time actually. I get here continuous as the stars that shine. That means continuous. On our Cholche as the stars that shine. The stars you know Taraba shine when Alakitu Kora. Taraba who Jeva Alakitu Kocha on over the continuous. Akashama the Kundi on over to Chakrida Taraba Guru to Alakitu Kuru. Akash to Jolmon Kori, and twinkle on the Milky Way. Milky Way is of the Sayafa. And twinkle, twinkle is of the all for Shamai Mode, Choker, Choker Poloke, Choker Poloke, all for Shamai Mode, and meet meet Koridola, Ottawa, I carry a cotton, meet meet Koridola, and twinkle on the Milky Way, Puru Chayapote, Kikore Stamu, meet meet Koridola, Abu Puru Chayapota, Akaralo with the Koride, and Kiba Vasishulu. আমরা মূলত আসলে এখানে এই ডেফিনিশন এর কথা বলা হচ্ছে এখানে এটা কম্পারেটিভ একটা ডিসকাশন চলতেছে যে স্টার এর সাথে ডেফিনিশন এর একটা কম্পেয়ার করা হচ্ছে এখানে এই এখানে সিম্পলি নাম্বার 2 তোমাদের পূজার সুদার্থে বলছি এর আগে যে প্রথম লাইনটা আমরা বলছিলাম যে আই ওয়ান্ডার ব্লং ইয়াজ এ ক্লাউড সেটা ছিল সিম্পলি নাম্বার 1 এই কবিতার মধ্যে দুটো সিম্পলি আমরা লক করি এন্ড দা ফার্স্ট সিম্পলি ওয়াজ ইজ দা আই ওয়ান্ডার ব্লং ইয়াজ এ ক্লাউড এন্ড সেকেন্ড ওয়ান ইজ কন্টিনিউয়াস এজ দা স্টারস এস হিয়ার ইউ নো এস দা স্টারস দ্যাট শাইন here, stars has been compared. Stars have has been compared to devils. You know, this is the simile number two. Okay, a, a a comparison between two dissimilar things, between two different things using as. Okay, and twinkle on the Milky Way. Here, that is stressed. That means you can devils. That is stressed. Stressed means pushari to ayas, pushari to ay. In never ending line, never ending chapter to ocean. Ani. Unlimited. The daffodils gulu ki kore ase, prashari to hai ase, chori ase, chori ase, tirgo lomba line, oshim line, the line ko na hai process nahi. Along, barabar, the margin, tanto of a bay, upo shagor. Ek baare, ek gulu amun ba bay, ek baare shagor ke shathe meshe kese, ek ek baare oni dur thik ek baare shagor thik ek, ek ek baare meshe kese upo shagor ek margin shabd ko tanto ek baare shagor thik ek baare shagor thik puto to pose kese. हाइफारोल Things are exaggerated. Actually, I mean, I mean, things are exaggerated. Actually, 
they are meaning what they are it just exaggeration is there otirunjit kara then 10000 saw nobody can see meaning nobody can see within a second 10000 nobody can count within a second or two second 10000 things or flowers nobody can count but again ekhane exaggerated kara hoyeche otirunjit kara hoyeche that's why it is called hyperbole 10000 saw i at a glance ami ek nazare 10000 dekhechi touching touching mane matha narano their heads এবং তারা তাদের কি করতেছে মাথা নাচছে তো ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস আমরা আজকে এই পর্যন্ত রাখব তোমাদেরকে অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ এই যে পুরো ক্লাসটা ধৈর্য সাথে শোনার জন্য আমার পরবর্তী ক্লাসে তোমাদেরকে ওয়েলকাম আমাদের পরবর্তী ক্লাস তোমাদের রুটিনে জানিয়ে দেওয়া হবে বেগম রহিম ইসলাম কলেজের এই রুটিন থেকে তোমরা আমার পরবর্তী ক্লাসে জানিয়ে দেবো থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ ওয়েলকাম ইউ অল টু মাই নেক্সট ক্লাস থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ